let us talk about some more examples in uh, support of natural selection. The second one is DDT resistance in mosquitoes. DDT was introduced in 1940s to uh, take care of or to destroy these mosquitoes because their number was increasing at a very very fast pace and initially when DDT was used to kill mosquitoes though it is a pesticide but it proved to be very effective in destroying these mosquitoes. Let us understand how this exactly worked. According to Darwin there are variations which exist in a population. So the population of mosquitoes had variations and one such variation was say these all were the mosquitoes and couple of mosquitoes or few mosquitoes had a variation and that variation was a gene resistant to DDT. So this variety of mosquito or this type of uh, uh, organisms which existed they showed variation. Variation was a gene and that gene provided them resistance against DDT. When the situation was before 1940s when DDT was not in use at that time these varieties or these variation containing mosquitoes did not get any advantage. So they were exactly same as the other varieties as DDT was not uh, available or not there in that environment. Now when DDT was used, situation changed. Now from these existing uh, varieties of mosquitoes, this one had the gene which was resistant gene. So this must have survived and all other mosquitoes which were actually having nothing to protect them from this DDT must have died. So after DDT use, majority of mosquitoes died and that's why we said that DDT was very very effective in controlling mosquitoes. We know mosquito control is very very important because these are vectors against or vectors for transmitting plasmodium which is the malarial parasite and even for the filaria worm. that is Bukeravia. So it is a vector and that is why destroying mosquitoes was very very essential. So all those mosquitoes died and DDT was very effective. The ones, the few which survived, they had this variation in them in the form of the resistant gene. Because they survived, they reproduced. So when they reproduced, the same variation was inherited in the next generations. Now the next generation of mosquitoes which was formed, it was formed with that gene because those surviving mosquitoes survived because of that gene. So now these varieties in spite of spraying DDT were not destroyed. The reason was now they are called resistant to DDT. So how did they develop this resistance? Actually, the resistance is not developed like this. In any population, there are certain variations which always exist. In normal situation, that variation may or may not affect in any ways. But if the situations change, then sometimes those variations are very useful for that organism to survive. And if that survives, that means it is selected by the nature in that particular condition. If it survives, it reproduces. And these varieties of mosquitoes which exist now, they are called the DDT resistant mosquitoes. So this is how these mosquitoes survive. We are talking about the examples of natural selection. So nature selected these varieties because now the conditions had changed. So this example is also in support of 
Darwin's theory of natural selection. Let us take one more example and that is of sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is an autosomal recessive disorder. And it is predominantly found in African continent. So it is predominant people of the African continent. Now what exactly happens when the person gets sickle cell anemia? There is a gene which is responsible for uh, formation of RBC of a particular shape and structure of hemoglobin. We know this. We studied this uh, in genetics chapter under pleiotropy also. So an individual has HBA, HBA genotype. This is the normal genotype. This person would have normal RBC. Normal RBC means the regular disc shaped RBC biconcave. And this individual would also produce normal type of hemoglobin. So normal hemoglobin and normal RBC. But as we said, this is a disorder which is recessive. The second situation which arises is one allele is normal and the other allele becomes sickle cell. That means the other allele is the mutant gene. In this situation, one allele is responsible for production of normal RBC and normal hemoglobin, but the other allele produces sickle cell RBC and hemoglobin is also faulty. What is the change in the hemoglobin? The change is in the beta chain at sixth position, glutamic acid gets replaced by valine. So in this case, 50% of RBCs are going to be normal and 50% of RBCs are going to be sickle shape. That is, instead of the normal circular shape, the RBCs would like, look like a sickle. Plus, 50% hemoglobin molecules are going to be normal and 50% of Hemoglobin will be faulty. So 50% hemoglobin normal and 50% hemoglobin defective. Now how does this affect the individual? When individual shows these kind of traits or this, this is the situation, then the oxygen carrying capacity will be low because the hemoglobin is not normal so it will not bind with the regular number of oxygen plus sickle shaped RBC will not be able to hold significant quantity of hemoglobin so both the problems would result into this RBC normal or RBC holds some amount of hemoglobin because of the shape the hemoglobin content per RBC will be less and the 50% of hemoglobin is not normal, so it will not carry that much of oxygen. So oxygen carrying capacity of such individuals are, is very, very low and it affects their physical activities. Whenever they have to perform any physical activity, they either get very tired or they, are, they feel lethargic because the tissues are not getting oxygen supply in significant or sufficient quantity. Third situation is when the condition is homozygous recessive, that is HBS, HBS. Now, biologically, if we talk off, this is the best situation. We have seen one, two, and three situations. This situation is absolutely normal. Both the alleles are producing normal hemoglobin and normal RBC. Here, 50-50 problem, 50% normal, 50% defective. In this case, all RBCs are going to be sickle cell and complete hemoglobin is going to be faulty. Such individuals do not survive for a longer time. So, they do not survive. Because 
the oxygen which is carried in such a situation is very very less so technically or theoretically if we have to pick out of these three situations we would say that this is the best situation but what is picked by the nature is this situation and the reason why nature has selected 50% normal and 50% defective RBC or hemoglobin containing organism is that in African continent malaria is a very very problematic uh, disease the malaria which is caused is the most severe kind of malaria that is due to uh, plasmodium falciparum which can lead to death these individuals that means we are talking of HBA HBS these individuals they are resistant to malaria they are resistant to malaria this kind of individual though theoretically appears to be the perfect one but has highest risk of having that deadly malaria and if they get this malaria their the chances of their uh, death or severe kind of problem is more this individual would not get malaria so normally speaking this should be theoretically the most uh, preferred genetic combination but what is the nature selecting the nature selects which is the fittest in that particular condition and in the conditions which exist in africa like the malaria uh, the severe kind of malaria that exists there this is the most suitable uh, genetic combination because they do not get infected by the malarial parasite or we can say that they are resistant to malaria so this is the combination which is selected by the nature and why is it selected because in that environmental condition or in that condition this is the most suited this one theoretically looks perfect but they will get affected by malaria they normally do not survive so the best suited would be the heterozygous condition because they are resistant to malaria again this is an example in support of natural selection that nature selects those organisms which are suited for that particular condition it may not be genetically perfect but if it is perfect for that condition then that is going to be selected so after these examples, we'll talk about few more examples.